reason I'm making this video is I am looking to find a cinematographer, videographer, editor, whatever you want to call it, YouTube channel partner to join me on a journey of building an empire. I've been building for quite a long time. I have a lot of good stuff in the works and I haven't focused on the storytelling of it. I'm posting this on my YouTube channel where I've uploaded absolutely random videos and I'm subscribed to, <laughs> surprised I even have more than one subscriber and where the views come from because it's dog water content. It's just me talking sometimes. I mean, I can orate for hours because I've thought a lot about things. I don't really do anything outside of trying to improve the state of my capability to do more good in the world. This is called effective altruism. So my number one kind of ideal would be to have a videographer, because obviously we'll be traveling together, uh, kind of working in tandem through these times. And since I don't stop, it'd be better to have someone who also thinks I shouldn't stop either. I think of life as a great video game somewhat you're at war against evil. And that's the most fun thing for me in the world is knowing the potential of impact from doing this sort of thing and visualizing it. I realized recently that that was the one thing I was missing to make having fun part of doing the most good. And we have never had a time where it's easier to blow up on the internet. And I don't think I know anybody doing as many interesting projects at one time as I am, which all they need is more people to see them, to believe in them, to watch them grow. And that's why I'm planning on setting up a sort of EA hub, a startup society in India. I'm flying there in a few days. You might be seeing this video while I'm already there. And I'm gonna turn down this TV, because it's loud. <laughs> Did I just expose myself that I'm in my underwear and I put a shirt on just to film this video? Likely, I did. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're welcome. Took the time to put a shirt on. Once you exist, maybe you can just edit that out. As you can tell, this is an unedited video. I don't spend the time in order to make things look pretty or add little animations or any of the good stuff that makes videos really engaging. The telling of the story, it's all storytelling. So important and vital. So I obviously am going to India for this purpose of setting up this startup society. I don't exactly know where I want to start it. So for the next hmm, month, not sure the timeline of travel, I am going to visit around there. I'm going to visit different EAs, uh, set up meetings, you know, potentially just do some interviews. I have a whole EA interview of my favorite questions set out. And then one of the steps is to kind of port this content from just the main YouTube storytelling to building more content cutters who are going to be then porting it to TikTok, Instagram Reels, etc. And kind of, you know, follow the Andrew Tate model that works so well. Uh, I've got Vibe University ready to go. I've got StartupCollege.xyz that you can go look at. And I have California Creators Institute as well as the backend Decentralized Intelligence Agency which of course is the sort of war room style thing if you're familiar with the whole Tate complex. That, of course, is most exciting because as we saw with many interesting characters, they weren't focusing enough on charity, on actually causing effective change. They were kind of focused on the meta trap problem, which was to say, hey, there is somewhat of a matrix happening. There is a capitalist society where you are being extracted from and you must be strong. 
Those values I believe in. The best way to show that is not just to speak about it, it's to say it exists, but to act upon that information. There's one TikTok song that goes, they know, and he knows he knows. I'm a terrible singer. I would take singing lessons though. Could be good content. Maybe it won't be, you know? Doesn't really fit the whole vibe. But I could screech. Basically, I, I can become a fun type of character whenever I need to. Uh, and we'll see what works best. Kind of can be fluid in how sporadic, spontaneous I become for the content. Uh, I think naturally what looks best is when you are who you are on camera. Uh, and I think I'm pretty fucking like interesting, you know? Like I just have fun with weird shit. And I think that'll do well. Anyways, to get back to the main point here, basically rather than attacking and you know, trying to instill this sort of focus on this is toxic, I think that is the same thing that they're trying to abolish, is that they're doing, is this idea of focusing on this toxic side. So one of the complaints obviously in the world was like, okay, we have such a focus on canceling and on toxic masculinity. Being an exemplar of positive masculinity is key. So what do you do? Well, show building new things from scratch, starting businesses and creating value from the ground up. That's one thing that I lack with Eric, Mr. Beast, these other influencers as well. They don't start things or scale things. And none of these influencers are building really big physical teams into their whole system. Creating not just a media vortex around themselves, but a media ecosystem. And even investing into some of the most exciting things with capability of media which is AI video right now. So these are all things that I have the baselines of them set up right now. And I'm gonna be working on while we're out there, recruiting the tech teams, uh, you know, raising capital. And it's gonna be a heck of a good time. It's gonna be a heck of a good story. I have a lot of write-ups online. I have over 60 live websites, uh, you know, that I've published some for different companies and I've taken a lot of time over the past few months to take a step back, kind of write and plan for the future. And so I have a ton of, ton of different stuff kind of in the works there. And storytelling is one key thing that I'm setting up and that's why I'm recording this video just to kind of give a background of myself, record a long different intro Obviously payment for everything, travel, etc., will be covered. And, uh, you know, here to take applications. Looking to get started right away. You know, I am flying in a few days. So I have one friend out there. Uh, I've been employing him for the past couple of years named Tarak. He does graphic design and video. He'll be joining me. He effectively isn't the top tier videographer, editor, um, but he can shoot. So at least we'll be capturing the content. And this is a piece of me doing the actual recruiting. Just getting a phone call. So. What's the position like? YouTube channel is the main thing for this. The main storytelling. The rest of it, I have a good idea on how to scale in terms of just setting up people to go clip the content. They don't need to be directly there with me. Uh, the main storyteller obviously needs to understand a lot of the intrinsic concepts and uh, be able to work with even our graphic designers who are making logos. Getting the time lapses from them would be great to use in the content and piecing all those things together. So it's definitely, you know, going to be a high level job and I think what the most important job in the entire company at this stage uh, is really, you know, I have enough interesting stuff. I have enough interesting ideas 
to speak about, to make hundreds of videos. I have enough interesting projects that are at the seed stage to kind of make videos for different reasons, even making better recruiting videos, you know? How cool can you make something sound is a major thing. How much can you capture someone's attention? For any idea, that's all you need to do to make it a reality is get enough people to believe in it. And people add value in many different ways to ideas. Enough people see it, enough people like it. That's really how you manifest ideas. You know, that's one of the things I can talk about is the fact that reality, what we're experiencing as a human race is really a generative system based on collective humanity's actions. We kind of forget the fact that technology doesn't just move forward without us. If we weren't doing anything, it would happen at the rate that it used to, which is nature is very slow, very, very, very slow. And we sort of sometimes forget the fact that all of us collectively are as well. It's making this rapid progress. We're in a time of just rapid evolution. There is also no EA influencers, uh, effective altruist influencers, nor are there really big business builders who are building large companies, a venture studio, who are filming the whole behind the scenes process and building this bigger ecosystem. There's no startup society doing it. I think all these things combined is exactly what's perfect uh, for this. I've basically been plotting for the past couple of years about this whole process and now I couldn't be more excited to get started. So if you are also excited about these ideas, if you have any more questions, please reach out. I'm gonna put my WhatsApp info in the description because this is the most important thing to me right now. Do interviews on this. I'm willing to book a flight wherever you are in the world, fly you out uh, as soon as you're willing to come. If, of course, look at your portfolio and your skill sets and make sure that it is a good fit, that you do have the skills in order to make an amazing uh, YouTube videos that are highly engaging. I also have a bot now where I can send thousands of different contacts a video and I have a scraper for like all venture capitalists. So that's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, I've got like Sam Bankman Fried's number, obviously he's worth 27 billion, big into effective altruism. A good amount of billionaires phone numbers that I haven't contacted, because I wanna send them a very highly uh, engaging, customized personal video for them in order to make sure that that connection uh, comes in with a strong start. And so that's some of the stuff we'll be working on besides just the direct YouTube